what up? Welcome to Mo Box and No Problem. I'm Hassan Reyes Jr. And today's video, we'll be going over everything to know about the plain fight between Dimitri Vivel versus Gilberto Sudo Ramirez. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's begin with the fight poster. The first thing to note is a fight promoted by Matchroom. It will air on the zone in the US and UK on Saturday, November 5th. Dimitri Vivel will make his return to the ring after a six month layoff, not having fought since May 7, 2022. In the fight, he won by unanimous decision to Canelo Alvarez. Gilberto Sudo Ramirez will make his return to the ring after a six-month layoff as well. His last fight taking place on May 14, 2022, in a KO win versus Dominic Basso. The fight will be contested at the light heavyweight limit of 175 pounds, scheduled for 12 rounds, and will have the WAA belt on the line. The main car fights for the event start at 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 5.30 p.m. GMT. You can expect Mitra Vivol and Gilberto Ramirez to make their ring walks around 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT. As for the fight location, that will be at the Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi. Next, we'll transition over to a teletape to see how these fighters stack up. Starting off with the overall record, Dimitri Vivol has had 20 bouts with a record of 20 wins, no losses, and 11 knockouts. Gilberto Ramirez has had 44 bouts with a record of 44 wins, no losses, and 30 knockouts. Moving on to the power department, Sudo has the edge in power, 68% KO ratio for Gilberto Ramirez, compared to Vivol's 55% KO ratio. As far as physical attributes, Sudo has an edge in height by 2.5 inches, but, and also enjoys a 3-inch reach advantage over Bivol. As for fighting stance, Bivol is an orthodox fighter, while Gilberto Ramirez is a southpaw. With regards to their age, Vivol is 31 years old, and Sudo is also 31 years old. Vivol debuted back in 2015 and has racked up 160 pro rounds, while Ramirez debuted back in 2009 and has accumulated 255 pro rounds. Although Gilberto Ramirez has more pro rounds overall, I am calling experience here a draw to the level position faced by Vivol. Next, we'll go over the rankings. Starting off with box rec, Dimitri Vivol is ranked at number one, and Ramirez is ranked at number three. Moving on to the ring rankings, Dimitri Vivol is ranked at number one, and again, Ramirez is ranked at number three. To finish off with the official rankings, Dimitri Vivol is the WBA champion, and as such, will not be ranked by any of the other organizational bodies. Gilberto Sierra Ramirez is ranked at number two by WBO and number one by WBA. Next, let's move on to the betting odds, which is being brought to you by our sponsor, BetUS. I'll leave a link for them in the description of this video in case you're using to place your bets for this fight. And also take advantage of the signing bonus offering for my viewers. Dimitri Vivo is a favorite here at minus 190 odds, meaning you have to bet $590 to turn a $100 profit if they win. While Ramirez is the underdog at plus 330 odds to pull the upset, meaning for every $100 you bet, you make a $30 profit if they win. Overall, Vivo's chance of winning is 78.73% while Ramirez has a 21.27% chance of winning. And to finish this video, we'll wrap up with a prediction. And I'm predicting the underdog goes to Ramirez to win by now decision. So, you know, based on those odds we just went over, this is definitely a risky pick. But I like Ramirez's, you know, size advantage over Vivol to make the difference. You know, even though Ramirez is a fighter that was moving up in weight, you know, the fact he looks, you know, bigger in not only height but reach, could pose a problem for Vivol. Uh, not to mention Ramirez is known for being uh, high activity, uh, punch output, and that will you know hurdle you know Vivol's game plan. I do think Vivol may be uh, overrated a bit based on what he did with Canelo, uh, but Glitter Ramirez, being the naturally bigger guy, will not have the same challenges that Canelo facing as Vivol. So take this pick with the you know, grain of salt. Uh, I think the odds should be a little bit closer. But I'm going with it with Sudo Ramirez. And there you have it. You now know everything you should know about the coming fight between Dimitri Vivol versus Sudo Ramirez. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. And also, please, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Until next time, remember, Mo Boxing. It's no problem. Peace.